Now, the town of Brookline is sending layoff notices to teachers today, and it won't be the only community to make cuts. Schools rely on the state for funding. And the Mass Taxpayers Foundation predicts that the state will lose $6 billion because of the pandemic, and it will take us at least three years to recover. As WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez shows us, the cuts in schools could be severe. We don't have the numbers yet, but it could be in the tens of thousands. A dire warning from the president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association of the teaching jobs at risk as Brookline Public Schools announces layoff notices went out to educators today. The one certainty that we know is June 15th is the deadline by which these pink slips have to be given out, and that is going to cause incredible disruption. Of public education. In a letter to parents and staff, school officials say the COVID 19 pandemic has induced a budget crisis in the town of Brookline that will force administrators to cut the 2021 budget by $6.3 million. An internal memo obtained by WBZ revealed hundreds will receive layoff notices, among them all K 12 librarians and all elementary language teachers. We were informed that. A lot of our teachers were handed the pink slips. This Brookline High School junior says she learned this morning her drama teacher's job was on the line. I can't imagine VHS without having those after school activities. You know, when you start cutting critical programs in the short term, the risk is that they aren't there when life returns to normal. Critics of the Brookline plan also point to the town's rainy day fund, which according to a 2019 audit has 26.6 million in unassigned funds. Money they say can help protect teachers' jobs. The Massachusetts Teachers Association says they're aware of layoffs in at least six other communities, and with a projected 20% drop in state tax revenue, they expect that list to grow in the coming weeks. We need to rely on the federal government to provide a new deal level of funding to cities and schools, as well as the state government. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.